The SMK was an armored vehicle prototype developed by the Soviet Union prior to the Second World War. It was named after Sergei Myronovich Kirov, a Communist Party official assassinated in 1934. The SMK was discovered and classified by German intelligence as the T-35C, leading to the misunderstanding that the T-35 took part in the Winter War. Only one was built and after a trial showing the downsides of its weight and size against the KV tank and brief use in the war with Finland, the project was dropped. The SMK was among the designs competing to replace the unreliable and expensive T-35 multi-turreted heavy tank. A design team under Joseph Koten at the Kirovsky Works, formerly the Butilov Works, at Leningrad designed the tank. Competition came from the former OKMO designer in Berikov at the Bolshevik plant. In spite of the lessons that could have been learned during the Spanish Civil War, the specification drawn up for the anti-tank gun destroyer in 1937 required the ability to withstand 45mm anti-tank guns at point-blank range and 75mm artillery fire at 1200M, 1300YD. Dot meetings in 1938 reduced the number of turrets in the specification and moved to torsion bar from spring suspension. Coden and his assistant independently designed a single turret version of the SMK which received Stalin's approval in the name KV. Production of two prototypes was ordered. The SMK's armament was a short 76.2mm gun in the upper centrally placed turret and a 45mm weapon in the forward turret. The SMK, the two KV-1 prototypes and the two T-100 prototypes were put through proving trials before being tested operationally in combat at the Battle of Suma during the Winter War against Finland. The vehicles formed a company of the 91st Tank Battalion of the 20th Heavy Tank Brigade. The unit was under the command of the son of the defense commissar. After being immobilized by a mine, the SMK had to be abandoned and was not recovered for two months. The KV design proved superior on both trials in Finland and was accepted.